all right so guys what's going on it's your boy back with another video um i don't know if y'all can hear me or not but anyways don't have a chair for me right now so kind of doing this on the ground anyways new video that i got coming up don't mind the uh current the cowardly dog episode in the background if you guys like that let me know <laughs> you know current cowardly dog is pretty much a uh, cool cool show to watch very disturbing at times but that's besides the point anyways what i'm going to show you showing you guys today is um how to connect any one of your ps4 controllers to your nintendo switch and uh so yeah let's get right into it all right so for starters you're going to need a piece called a 8-bit no, yeah, 8 bit do and 8 bit do, and that is a USB wireless adapter right here. An 8 bit do, look at this, right here. And you can hear my son in the background. But, anyways, um, this piece right here, 8 bit do, it might come with just the actual USB wireless adapter, which is just this. And I would recommend getting the combo that I had got for my Switch which comes with the wireless adapter and this cord right here. This cord right here, as you can see, is a USB-C and this will go at the bottom of your... So, like I said, this is a USB-C and this is for the USB port right here. So, basically what you do, if you wanted to, per se, use your Nintendo Switch as just the handheld part, you just put this in, put this in right here too. And actually have basic instructions in the back. As you can see. Uh, yeah, whatever. Whenever you get it, you'll see it. It's like $20, by the way. Got it from Amazon. Came in like, you know, a couple days who has Amazon Prime or whatever. But, see? Going just like that. The button right here, you press and hold. But for, for now, I'm just going to show you guys how to hook this up on dock. The actual dock. So, I'm going to switch right here with the case I showed you guys before. You can install this right here. And you can see it's lighting up. Now, with the lighting up, I think you can do this with a Xbox controller too. But anyways, this is the PS4. So, as usual, you'll set it in. Put it in pairing mode. Hit these two and hold it till it starts blinking. Okay, we got it blinking. Now, what you do, I usually hold this. And you know it's done whenever, you know, it's finished lighting up. Oh, there we go. Oh, let's turn this sucker back. on the screen and watch this wow look at that and basically the controls are not the same as the uh you know regular ps4 settings and i'm not too sure if you can change them on different games yeah you can change them so but as for like you know going through the screen is actually like the nintendo switch a couple of games got downloaded. Let me know if any of you got one of these. I might smash you in it. I ain't never played this, so. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Um. Yeah, I know. Anyways, and also, like I said, you can use your PS4 controller. You know, the dock. You know, the, the Nintendo Switch has its own stand. Put the stand in up and just use it like that. But you would need this adapter piece for that. And let's not forget about the main component right here. Um, so, the reason why I'm showing you guys with it docked and not uh, handheld right now is because my Nintendo Switch is actually dying. So, anyways, if you like the videos, give me a thumbs up. And um, let's not forget to subscribe and uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. There's actually a Nintendo e shop sale going on right now. Swell sale. There's a sale going on right now. So uh, 
you want to copy games, I got like two games for like what 20 bucks. It's like a steal. So yeah, go ahead, do that. Like I said, like, subscribe, and uh leave comments too. Like I said, let me know what else you guys want to see. And that'll be it for now. Deuces.